Maybe you heard of us. The desert ring. Wait a minute. Are you the guys who made hamburger out of the Giffers? Oh, I didn't think anybody take those assholes down. Fuck the conversation ah, changes so now. What? You're dealing with the hard heads now. So tell me, what the fuck are you doing in our territory? Might you get inside? Oh, 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 you mean our base? Well, the only way you get in there is if we stick a spit up your ass and cook you for dinner. And you know what? I think that's just what we're gonna do. Why you slam me here when you have the Gipper's stronghold? We just chase them out. It's yours if you let us press. Fucking hell. Everything changes. Hard heads, your boss is digging his own grave with this bullshit. Maybe you should run before he digs yours too. First day is to tell him that he's dying. We already checked that two days ago. This is the funniest thing, definitely, with hard ass when they start running behind them. I'm scared. Look at this shit now. You're not scaring anybody with that noise. <laughs> That You're not boys. scaring anybody when they're running in here. <laughs> boys. Oh, God damn it, you chicken shits! Quit your blubbering and kill these assholes! Here they come. Fish lips. Quite resistant. Huge armor. Break armor further, it's 12. Let's see if we can break it more. No, you can't. Fuck. Executing order. Jump that shit. Enemies, I think they scale with your level. There is no easy fight. They're just not. God, man, what the fuck are you? Crit! Hardhead rules. Oh! Whoever beats the boss is the boss. <laughs> you beat me, fine. I have an idea. 
I doubt you're gonna have 3,000 HP you if you wanna strong, join us. Which is the only thing I respect in this shithole of a world. But you ain't brutal enough to deal with the worst that's out there. Take me with you, and that could be my job. What do you say? We could use someone with your brutal tendencies. Brutal is right. But you even unlock the hard now, head. Let's go fuck some shit up. You are a melee armor mod and toaster repair. Mechanics, explosives. And leadership on ironclad. Kwon is fucking useless. Scorchmo is also useless, but he's funny, so I would keep Scorchmo. Lucia. Lucia deals more damage than Scotchmo. Quan is irritating and useless. Iggy, hello Iggy. Mechanic, toast to repair armor mod, and melee. Why speed, for Christ's sake? Why? You need action points here instead of speed. Speed should be four action points should be here. He would be perfect like that. Who gives a fuck about speed? And why would he evade when he can tank? He's a scrapper. Critical damage increased. Because we no quirk. And the last point in the speed. He has a huge boost in evasion. Okay, but I hate initiative part because initiative doesn't exist. But I can give him action points. No, no, I won't skip action points for sure. Let me see the perks. I never checked melee. This is the first time I'm checking it out. Bleeding strike. Now which blood vessels run close to the skin, open your enemy up. Now time is on your side. Aggressive blade attack deals extra 100% damage, inflicts bleeding. Uh, already melee seems to me better than brawling. Targets that are burning will receive 200% more damage. You throw a molotov and you fucking whack them. Uh, 
Uh, this is for blunt weapons, and we need blades. Striking distance. Not having a gun just means you don't have anything extra weighing you down. Combat speed when you have two melee weapons. You can equip two melee weapons. But you can't wield both at the same time. Blood sport is with blunt weapons. It's like T ball but with more skull fragments. One way. <laughs> Stun and blind. Egg can slash. You couldn't stop yourself if you wanted to. Taking the same target twice in a row with a bladed weapon executes a free bonus attack. That's broken. Blade, you're gonna have move fast and exploit every possible opening pursuit. I love the pictures. All the pictures for skills, perks, they're fucking epic. I don't know who drew them, but it's fucking hilarious. Every picture is great. If you move more than three spaces, your next blade weapon attack has 25% critical chance. 100% versus slowed. Oh, you use. Weapons to target legs, you slow the assholes down, you bleed them, and then you whack them with pursuit. But you also need to move three spaces in order for it to work. You need to remember all that shit while playing, there's a lot of info. I'm happy this when I play CRPGs. I'm also happy when I play Doom, to be honest. But yeah, RPGs in general, yeah. If you can put them together, you can take them apart. Toaster repair, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Combat speed when you have two melee weapons. What is your melee weapon, by the way? Let's stop. Fish lips found the cannibals that killed his family. He used this sign to barricade them inside a boxcar. He set a train on fire. It was their last stop. <laughs> and that's why it's the last stop. Fucking what on. It's got a reckless attack. More pain, more gain. A discriminate attack that does 25% more damage but hits everyone nearby, including you. What do you mean, including you? My teammates, if they're close by, or him? Raise. Yeah. I'll need... I'll need cybernetic implants on him. For 100% crit resist. For fucking sure he should be more interesting than Quan. No matter what. We'll make him a tank. We go like this. Health and armor. And then... We need to give him some items. But Trinket is gonna be 100% crit resist. There's nothing to think about that, at least. Ten clicks. This effect resist is very nice.
Kwon had a very good helmet with 8 armor, but that's now back in headquarters. Don't know if I should go back and switch them. Because I believe I'll play with fish lips. For now, we're gonna equip status resist effect. And from bloody trinkets. Man, something useful. Get a Christian. What about your other hand? We got another bladed weapon, which is better than his sign. It's gonna deal more damage. It's got better penetration. Same multiplier, same hit chance, same crit chance. 25% chance to apply cripple, 50% chance to apply poison with a dental pick. Is that the only melee weapon I got? Seems so. Uh, what about skills? If I max out melee combat, I spend everything. Although he's got armor mudding, now I can mud armors. Increases hit chance, and at the end we're gonna get shrug it off. The bigger the crowd, the harder it will be for them to hit you. Shrug it off while using a blunt weapon. Blunt weapon. And how come bladed weapon doesn't have an ultimate perk, but blunt weapon has? Game plus two armor for every enemy ejected to you. That might work for enemies like the wolves. You send them first, they surround them. Like, for example, five drills give plus ten armor. But you need a blunt weapon equipped, and he comes with a bladed weapon. Hit chance is a nice thing here to have. We're gonna leave it like this for now. Uh, what I wanna do... There's a great helmet at Kwon. And I need to give him 100% crit resist. So we ain't gonna touch anything at all in Union Station. And we're gonna do something very fast. Uh, back to HQ. We strip Kwon. We take what's worth. Then, to those communist robots, we buy a disc. <coughs> we get those implants, we give him 100% crit resist. Then we're gonna go back to Union Station and play. I won't play Assassin's Creed, I won't play that AAA garbage. November 1, this is Ranger HQ. Hey, um, listen up. I got a distress call from near your position. A man named Bulb says his mind's being attacked by, uh, Martians. Martians? <laughs> by Martians? Can you repeat that, HQ? I'd really rather not, November 1. The distress call wasn't too clear on what these Martians are, but could be any manner of beast or monster. Advise checking it out. I think this bulb fellow will be happy to tell you more. Over and out. You're goddamn kidding me. War of the Worlds. 
locate the Lurium mine and the distress miner. Where the fuck are you? Oh, that's over here, eh? And what's the quest requirement? Cut off. Where is it? Level 15. Uh, what are we gonna do? One manual save. I don't know if I'm time limited on that. We're gonna save mines. And I'm doing what I wanted. Calling the HQ for a towel. Copy that. Toes on the way. Listen, Amalur has great combat. That's what I remember from Amalur. But quests are fetch quests. Fetch quest after fetch quest. Collect three flowers and kill ten dinosaurs. Collect three flowers and kill twenty bandits, you know. For example, Wasteland doesn't have a single fetch quest. Even if it has, it puts it as a mini side option, you know. A reason to get XP. But it does it very rare. Most of the quests have some meaning, you know. Amalur is all about fetch quests. 